Hello everybody and welcome to this week's rundown of our indicators. My name is Nathan Batcher and I'll be your host for today. So before I begin, I'm just going to read through a brief disclaimer. Please feel free to read along as well. Beyond Trader LLC is strictly a research publishing firm. The information we publish is based on our opinions plus our quantitative models, statistical and financial data and independent research. This service is not registered with any financial regulatory agency such as the SEC or any other organization or governmental body. By using our platform or our services, you acknowledge that we do not provide personalized recommendation or advice. Alternative asset classes are volatile investments and carry significant risk. Please do your own research before making any financial decisions. Okay, so uh, let's get straight to it then, shall we? And uh, check out our indicators and what's been going on. Obviously, the market has been experiencing a sell-off this week and uh, some of our indicators have been agreeing and uh, some of them have not been agreeing so I think uh, let's try to get the bottom of what's going on and uh, let's take it from there so let's start with uh, Beyond Atlas and as you can see um, on the overview on our website as you come to the front of our page we can immediately see that uh, Beyond Atlas is is bearish but let's break it down and have a look at the actual indicator itself so as you can see there we've got the 100.07 reading and what does that mean that means that we've moved above the threshold uh, so the bullish bearish threshold is 100 so once we move across uh, the 100 area and get closer to the red region uh, being an inverse indicator it means actually that, uh, that everything is getting more bearish. And if we move into the red zone, then it will be a high sell conviction trade coming up. However, it's very important to note that we've got previous in instances where the price has moved above the 100 level. Um, if we go back to 2021, for example, it's moved, um, or 2020 rather, it's moved up to the 100 area and we've had a strong uh, uh, move down in the indicator and back into the green zone. And that indicates obviously that uh, from there, uh, price pressure is bullish. So uh, this week, uh, we've just moved above the 100 threshold and obviously it's been a very good, um, a reminder how accurate is um, Atlas for uh, short-term trading. So if we can see the actual points increase this week, it's been tracking higher. And obviously from there, uh, the market has been doing the same thing. So it should be going in the wrong direction. And I think uh, that's the key point with Atlas. It, ideally, we want to see um, a divergence if the movement is true. But however, uh, the movement has been to the upside, so the price has been to the downside. So that's what we'd normally see. So if we want it to turn bullish, it, it needs to move lower again. So moving into next week, Atlas is at a critical juncture, it needs to start moving lower. If it continues higher, then the risk is very much uh, to the downside going into next week. So let's have a look at a rather flagship indicator, Vanguard. And Vanguard had a green uh, weekly uh, signal at the start of the week that means that it's a trend detector and things are still bullish for for uh, Vanguard which is quite confusing as our two indicators are diverging uh, from each other and it's really a case now of which one is going to be right I would suggest the best use of them is that the overall medium and long-term trend is still to the upside which is why the weekly is still green and at the moment uh, Atlas has just been indicating that there's a short-term uh, bearish bias in the market so uh, I guess we were more likely than not to have a correction. If you have a look at all the other time frames up to the three day, they've obviously gone orange or bearish, which is very much in line with the short term price action. So that's the best way to utilize that. I think another thing that I want to point uh, your attention towards is the long short ratio. So we touched upon this last week and we said the market had been short for a while and it needed to continue if there was a long bias coming into the market. Uh, for retail traders, then we could see a price crash. But something that I do want to um, uh, bring to your attention, at least if you're new to uh, Beyond, uh, there's uh, various components of the long short ratio. So uh, we've got the positioning data of professional traders. So interestingly, even though we had the price crash, uh, professional traders have actually bought into this move. Even though the price has been going down, they have uh, it hasn't been consistent. And you can see that uh, professional traders are normally very accurate in that the terms of uh, where the price goes, uh, pro traders have uh, pretty much nailed the move. And you'll see they sold down heavily, their holdings there. And this kind of foreshadowed that we might have some type of correction. But as the price has got pretty low, I assume it's become more attractive and we can see that there's been a decent amount of buying activity. So this could hint that the low is in 
and that retail traders are very confident. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, professional traders are very confident between the one twelve and the full and the one fourteen level. It's a good area to accumulate, and we're going to go to new all time highs. So that's a very interesting piece of information. And if we have a look at the challenger indicator, it's equally very interesting. There's a number of green buy signals coming on, and I think we should probably have a look at Bitcoin specifically. And we can see. Um, that uh, for Bitcoin, uh, we can see we don't have anything yet, but the uh, daily time frame uh, within the next four uh, days or so, uh, the daily time frame will be issuing a buy signal for Challenger. So that could mean we've got a couple of days of chop ahead, uh, maybe some back and forth uh, uh, to confirm that the low is in, and then we should be heading higher. And also another key point here is that it's saying that we're basically around three or four weeks away from a major top in Bitcoin, which could coincide with a couple of weeks of, of recovery um, hopefully, um, and we see Bitcoin uh, getting to a new all-time high. So that's what we've got this week uh, for our indicators. And obviously, I think the key point is, here of today is that it's very important that Atlas starts to turn underneath 100 and moves towards the green zone. And that'll give us a lot of conviction in the short term that the low is in and that we're going to start to put in a new all-time high. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the run through this week. Uh, please do check out our website and I'll uh, see you again next Sunday.